Ready to make a move in Milton real estate? If you're a first time home buyer or a move up buyer, some notable updates have happened this year in Milton real estate that may help you make moves this year. And we're going to get into that right now. The January numbers are in and the average price saw a 1.3% decrease from the previous month. Here's a look at the median home prices across all home types. There were 142 homes listed and 64 homes sold. The average property days on market went down to 35, meaning homes were selling 12 days faster in January compared to December 2022. We have seen more multiple offers and low pricing strategy making a comeback with more folks pricing properties artificially low and holding back on offers. This strategy only sometimes works, so you may see properties relist at a higher price point. We also see multiple offers and the property may still sell under asking. It's tricky to navigate right now, so understanding market value is critical to making moves in this market. Multiple offers does not necessarily mean thousands over asking like it did in 2022. For first time home buyers, if you're looking for a condo in Milton, currently condos are in a buyer's market, meaning buyers have more choice and more negotiating power as 31.8% sales to new listing ratio and 3.16 months of inventory. Sales to new listing ratio is a number we look to as it is an indicator of supply and demand. Under 40% is indicative of a buyer's market, 40 to 60% indicates a balanced market, and more than 60% is a seller's market. If you're a move up buyer, it can be an excellent time for you if you have a semi or a townhome to sell. There's really good activity in those home types in Milton. Both have low months of inventory. However, detached homes are in more of a buyer's market, which puts you in a better negotiating position if you're moving up. Overall, our Milton real estate market is a more balanced market, which is a welcomed market. Following seven consecutive rate hikes spanning 2022, the Bank of Canada raised their benchmark interest rate an additional time in January 2023. At this meeting, the Bank of Canada did indicate that they would be pausing the rate increases for now. If inflation doesn't come down more, we may see more increases. But for now, it looks like we may see a pause, but we will not know for sure until the announcement slated for March 8th. This pause may have returned some confidence to buyers as there is an end in sight. Also, we're finding that you can get a better fixed rate in many cases than you can a variable rate at the moment. We would love to help you with any questions you may have about the market. Reach us at the Catalina link below and set up a time to talk with us one-on-one. -on -one. Thanks for watching and remember to like this video and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our other videos.